Hey guys, it's Night Street Auto Plaza located in Mount Carmel, Illinois. Today we're viewing a 2012 Nissan Altima SL. It has a 2.5 liter four cylinder automatic transmission, 144,000 miles, highway gets 32, and city gets 23 miles per gallon. We're gonna take them on a virtual tour, show the imperfections of the outside, then we'll go to the inside and uh, check any electronics. We're gonna have some rock chips across the front, of course. Some small ones, there's a few up here on the hood. A couple ones there. The bigger one right there. Not too bad for the age of the car. Headlights are in good shape, no fa uh, fading in those. Uh, front driver's fender, there's a small little ding right there. Tire conditions right around 65 to 75%. Uh, front rim, these are actual uh, alloy rims. They are not uh, the metal with hubcaps. Those are actual alloy rims. Uh, moving down the driver's side, we do have a rock chip on the mirror right there. And a couple rock chips down here, a couple there. There's a light a little scratch right here. It does have tent on all the way around. Passenger rear door is a light scratch here. There's a light little scratch there. Rear quarter, nothing to note on it. Uh, tire condition back here is roughly about the same. These are 215 60R16s. Rear bumper cover at the bottom looks good, coming around. There is a light little scratch here and here. And then on the very back, uh, of course, putting your luggage in and out, there is a, uh, that a little bit of spidering right there. A little nick right there. Rear deck lid, nothing to note. This is a 2.5 SL. All right, coming up the passenger side, we do have a small scratch, uh, not actually a scratch, it's more of a smudge. A scuff, I guess you could say. Rear quarter, nothing to note on it. Tires are on 60% on this one. Do have some scuffing on the rims on this side. Uh, passenger rear door, you do have a small nick there. Passenger front door, there's a couple small nicks here and a rock chip there. I don't know what that is, but it's coming off, whatever that is. Uh, I do have a rock chip up here and one there on the front fender. Tire condition up front, these are around 50%. All right, moving on to the inside, passenger front door skin, good condition up to the note, along with the passenger front seat. Very good condition. We do have books. The dash is intact. Do have a moonroof and we'll start it up and do anything electronic. We'll push it. All right, passenger rear door scan, good condition. Child proof locks located here. Rear seats, excellent condition. Very clean car, no odors, etc. All right, your trunk is in good condition, very clean. Do you have your spare tire? jack located over there and your tools located under that sheet there moving on uh, passenger rear or driver's rear a door skin good condition nothing to note child proof locks located here uh, back seats excellent condition nothing to note driver's front door skin good condition nothing to note along with the front seat, excellent condition. This, this car won't last very long, it's really clean. Uh, power seats all work. Now guys, we're gonna go ahead and start it up. Starts up great, no ticks, anything like that on startup. Um, right now we got 144963, that's 144963 on the miles. Um, my 
seatbelt light's not on, the illumination, that's my door. Um, there. So, don't have my seatbelt light. There are no uh, codes on or anything like that. Um, really nice car, like I said, I take it on a test, test drive, it drives great. Uh, next oil change would be 149 uh, moving on, we're going to go through your electronics. Actually, we're going to do a rev test real quick. There's your RPMs. Revs up good, throttle response is good, and there is no uh, timing chain rattle at all. Uh, sounds really good. All right, we're going to go to your mirrors. Driver's side is good to go. Passenger side is good to go. Moving on up the top here. Sunroof is good to go. Interior lighting, yes. All right, moving on down. Windows. That's auto up and an auto down. That's an auto up and an auto down. And the backs are just regular up and downs. All windows function as they should. On down here is your traction control button. You can see the light on and off there. That's your trunk where you can do your trunk lid, etc. And you can put your key if your key battery is getting low in this button down here to start it. Otherwise, if your key is getting low, you can't put it right up to the button and it will start usually. There's your key. All right, moving on. Uh, we do have your volume. Oops. And enjoy the exclusive wine partner, Oliver Winery. Get all the details on how to get So, volume Nine works. Oh, it works as it should. Your hands free phone, uh, cruise control on and off. It does work as it should. Uh, moving on down to the center stack, it does have the Bose stereo system in it. Um, sounds really good. Start planning your dream vacation today. Sounds really good, actually. Uh, dual climate control, AC is ice cold. Um, really nice unit. Uh, moving on down here, you do should have a 12 volt yep. in there. Uh, down here you do have your heated seats. See the lighting on and it does work. Uh, a little bit of storage down here. And this is where you have your USB and another 12 volt uh, to your stereo. Alright, what else am I missing here? I think I've got it all. Um, hopefully I have. Like I said, the test drive was great. Uh, no issues at all. Moving on, we'll go look under the hood. That's your 2.5 four cylinder. So that guy's runs out great and uh, drives out great, sounds great actually. So, a little recap what we're viewing. Um, we're looking at viewing a 2012 Altima SL. It's got the 2.5 liter four cylinder automatic transmission. 144,000 miles and the highway gets 32, city gets 23 MPGs. If you got any questions, give us a call at 618 450 2600. Or you can get us on the web where you see the car facts in this video. In this, uh, in this video. Uh, at nightstreetautoplaza.com. Again, that's nightstreetautoplaza.com. Hope this helped your buying experience and you guys have a wonderful day.